الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علی رسول اللہ و اعلی علی و صحاب اجمعین اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وقل جاء الحق وزاق الباطل ان الباطل كان زہوکا رب شہلی صدری ویسل امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی ریسپیکٹڈ مسٹر عارف جلفار مائی ریسپیکٹڈ ایلڈرز اینڈ مائی ڈیئر بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ود دا اسلامک گریٹنگز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں پیس مرسی اینڈ بلیسنگز آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ آف آل مائی ٹی گاڈ بی آن آل آف یو It's an honor and a pleasure for me to be invited by the Holy Quran Award Dubai under the patronage of Sheikh Muhammad bin Rashid al-Maktoum as a guest speaker to give two talks in this glorious month of Ramadan. The topic of this evening's talk is Media and Islam War اور پیس میڈیا بائی ڈیفینیشن از مینز آف ماس کمیونیکیشن میڈیا از مینز آف ماس کمیونیکیشن اینڈ اسلام از ڈیرائیو فرام دا ورڈ سلم وچ مینس پیس اٹس آلسو ڈیرائیو فرام دا عربک ورڈ فلم which means to submit your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Almighty God. So in short, Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to Almighty God. Thus the topic of this evening's talk is means of mass communication and peace acquired by submitting your will to Almighty God. war or peace today we have to agree that media is one of the most important tools or rather you can say media today is one of the most important weapon this media can convert black to white it can change day into night it can convert a hero into a villain and a villain into a hero this media means of mass communication can do wonders and depending upon how science and technology advance the methods of media are also advancing today the means of mass communication that is media can be broadly classified under four headings first we have the print media which is further divided into non periodical and periodical print media in non periodical print media we have literature like pamphlets booklets books etc in the periodical print media we have newsletters newspapers magazines which are printed either daily weekly fortnightly monthly quarterly annually this is the first type of media that is the print media the second type of media is the audio media today we have audio media in the form of audio tapes which are becoming obsolete next is the audio cd compact disc We also have lately the DAT, digital audio tape. This audio media can either be used by an individual person at his home, at his office, or in a vehicle he's traveling in a car, etc. by having an audio player. It can even be used while walking like a walkman. It can be used in gatherings, small groups, functions, parties, weddings, gatherings such as this. or it can be used on a mass public level through the radio broadcast station the third type of media we have 
is the video media which again today is available in the form of VHS video home system cassettes which again is dying out it is becoming obsolete we also have the VCD video CD which too is becoming obsolete today we have video on the media DVD digital video disc and the next generation of video which has just started is the HD DVD high definition digital video disc the other one coming in the market is the blu-ray all these are types of video media this too can be used on individual level at home in the office in a vehicle in groups in gatherings or in public in mass level through the television broadcastation satellite channels cable TVs the last media we have is the computer media or the IT information technology which again can be used on individual level in groups and in mass public it can be used in the way of internet this again can be stored in the form of diskette CDs hard disk and variety in short we have four types of media print media audio media video media and the computer media each media requires a specialization each media has its disadvantage and advantage for example the print media can be carried very easily in comparison to the audio or the video media but as technology is improving we find that this gap is reducing today scientific research tells us that the retention of each type of media it keeps on differing when an average human being when he reads the print media he retains approximately 10% of what he has read on an average when a person hears the audio media an average human being he retains approximately 20% of what he has heard when a human being sees the visual any picture any visual an average human being retains approximately 30% of what he has seen but when a human being sees and hears at the same time simultaneously that is the video audio and video together an average human being retains approximately 50% of what he has heard and seen so the best in terms of retention is the video media today we know that the international media whether it be the print media the audio media the video media or the computer or the IT technology whether it be the international newspapers international magazines radio broadcast station websites or the television satellite channel we find on the international media there is virulent propaganda about Islam we find that the international media they are bombarding misinformation about Islam we find that there are various misconceptions about Islam that are spread on this international media and we find that international news channels they are mentioning war on terror or some of the international news channels they are saying war for peace actually what they are doing is not war for peace war on peace in other words war on the region of peace on Islam